Mr. Woodruff, you've tested positive for HIV. Hollywood films such as Dallas Buyers Club have brought a level of awareness about HIV, but many people still feel there is a lack of understanding around the virus. Rob has lived with HIV for the last six years, but being a teacher has meant having to hide his illness. I'm happy with telling people and letting them know, but obviously I wouldn't want to tell somebody who, it, who might then get back to parents and children because obviously I can't, I don't know exactly how they're going to react and my fear would be that their reaction is going to be negative and it's then going to have an effect on my job and also how the parents and students relate to me. General, do you think it could have dented your career had your boss not understood like or how, how does that work? Do you think there's enough support there? I think personally as I said I've been very lucky with the head teacher that I've got. I think he's um, really supportive and, and as I say he went out and found out more about it himself. Um, I have known people who have had bigger issues and I've always been wary about then moving schools and I did for a, sh a short while change job and I didn't tell anybody at that new place because I didn't know them as well and I was still worried about them finding out and it then um, having an effect and I've ended up going back to my old school because I knew that they were okay with it so I, I think yes it has um, it could ha potentially have an, an impact and I think for me changing my career or changing it, it has made me think twice sometimes about where I would go and what kind of schools I'd go to. HIV was first recognised in the 1980s. With more effective treatments available now, people can expect to live a long life with HIV. Dr Margaret Kingston from the Hathersage Centre in Manchester explains the stigma that comes with the virus and the loneliness it can lead to. The, the thing that's a big problem for our patients is the stigma that's associated with it and you know if someone's diagnosed with breast cancer they'll talk to their friends and their family about it. People who are diagnosed with HIV still see it as a very private, a very personal thing because they feel they fear those judgments that people would make about them and that makes it really hard because you're dealing with a life-changing, sometimes life-threatening diagnosis and it's lonely and you haven't got that support there. So we do our best to support those people um, that we're looking after here and, and, and provide that support but it isn't the same when you go home to your partner and your friends and you, you know, it, those are really difficult conversations for people to have. And um, the first person I told was actually my boss. Um, that was only about, about two or three months after I found out and that was only because I was starting to have more and more hospital appointments and it was obviously um, taking it up time of, of work. And so I mentioned, I, I told him, and he was brilliant. He, he admitted that he didn't really know much about it, um, but was more than um, accommodating with hospital appointments and was there to, for any support. Um, other than that, the other people were a couple of friends that I'd made through the support group. Um, and then my brother, who I, who I told, and my parents. So, uh, Are yeah. they okay with it? Or yeah, they they've, react? Um, obviously uh, my mum and dad were a little bit upset. Right, but they've been really supportive and they've been fantastic with everything. While the number of men who are HIV positive in the North of England has increased over the last decade, there is still a lack of understanding around the virus. There's a common misconception that HIV can be transmitted through work, at school or social situations, but this is not the case. So HIV is mainly a sexually transmitted infection, uh, although it, you can get it through uh, contaminated blood and blood products and so from needles that have, or other sharp objects that have got blood on. Um, so some people get it from sharing needles during drug use. Social media has become a useful tool for some people to share their experience of HIV. Alex was diagnosed with the virus in 2009. He says that being open and talking to other people in a similar situation can help others understand more about it. Personally myself, I also find um, that it's a good idea to speak to other people that are living with the virus and that's where sort of social media and the internet are really useful tools as well. Especially somewhere like um, Twitter where you don't necessarily have to reveal your actual identity as well. It could be a great way to start talking and meeting other people who live with the virus without necessarily revealing your identity. Opening a Twitter account under the name HIV Teacher has helped Rob share his knowledge. That for me was when I first was diagnosed, obviously trying to find out information about um, when I first found out I was a bit worried about it might mean that I wouldn't be able to carry on my job or something like that. Um, and I couldn't find much about being a teacher or being in education. 
and HIV. I've had um, a few people contact me through the Twitter account and ask me questions about they've, they've just started their PGC and they've found out that they're HIV or something like that and finding out how to deal with it. And also I had, I've had one other person who was a teacher who mentioned it and there was issues at school and they didn't know how to then approach that situation. So How can people more understand you know, think, things about HIV? I think part of it is that obviously in the 80s there was all the big campaigns with the, um, uh, the tombstones and that has stuck in a lot of people's minds and I think obviously that was the biggest campaign that there was and I don't, while there are campaigns now I don't think enough of them are focused on um, how it's developed. I think it's all based on what people are scared of and afraid of and I think you've just got to get over that from educating people, raising awareness. Um, I do think that people like myself who are open about their status are also making an impact with that and just showing people just by living a normal life sort of out in the open with the virus that it really doesn't um, have to have a negative impact on your life. What's crucial is that we are able to see everybody that we need to um, because the people who don't do well with HIV are the ones who don't know they have it. They don't have a test for whatever reason um, so they don't know and they can't get the help and they do end up ill and although the treatments work for them they're poorly and they never do quite as well um, as people who were diagnosed early so it's really important that you find out early um, before you get ill. Like I say the treatments will still work but you know, there's the risk of that illness that, that can, well, it can kill you. So we really want people to come and get a test. If you would like more information on HIV, you can find various links via our website at keysnews.net. This is Siobhan Maguire, Keys TV News.